Hey everyone, what's going on today? JSP Farms coming at you from the uh, the air drill here. I just thought I'd give you a uh, quick rundown of my cab setup. I know you know everybody's usually interested in what kind of monitors everybody runs, what everybody's got going on for you know different mounts and whatever. So I thought we'd just go over that how I got our uh, John Deere 9620 RX set up. So first thing is I got my iPad hanging out down there connected to our Intelligent Ag blockage monitor system. You can see it's got the mid-row benders and the regular primaries uh, in different colors. It monitors the different products. This is our third setup of this. We've had one for a while. Um, really, really like it. I uh, use it to... Uh, you know, help set my fan speeds and things like that. And then we come over here to uh, just our standard deer setup over here. This is a run page I kind of made for myself that I like. It's got everything I like on it. Uh, you can see we're doing 47 acres an hour right now, which is pretty good. Uh, and then we kind of get to the big gun over here, the X35 Apollo, with uh, the mid-row bander isolation switch that pulls your mid-rows up quick for you. Uh, you've got, you know, we have our little selector box down below the X35, one, two, three, four, and five. Our tanks on and off, six and seven. Our Packmaster, eight is a tank fill which because we have individual loads cells I don't need uh, a is lift master B is pack master the two semicircles are uh, your meter prime so you can push a little bit of product out check your runs which we really don't need because we have uh, we have the intelligent ag product and uh, we can see what's going on on the X35. This is how I run it for the most part. Sometimes I'll bring uh, the camera up for the saddle tank if we're getting low. But you can see seat controller. I like to always keep an eye on my fan speeds and uh, we can switch back to the Packmaster here. Uh, that used to be ran on a mid-row style box, but uh, now everything is in the monitor. We've got our mapping. Uh, we actually map with this and on the deer, so we actually end up with two copies. And we've got the Digistar uh, individual load cells, which they work real well, they're real accurate, so we're, we're pretty happy with that. Uh, so today, tomorrow actually, I'll end up kind of being a chip shot of Durham to finish the early Durham. We will have, I guess, about uh, 2,600 acres in by the end of tomorrow. We'll be switching back over to the Durham, or the lentils, I mean. I gotta clean out the sprayer. We're going from DB878 and Glyphos to Goldwing and Glyphos again. So uh, that's kind of what we got going on. You can see things are rolling pretty smooth behind me. So uh, I'm gonna keep at her here and uh, We'll catch you on the flip-flop.